Hello students, welcome to 10th standard biology. In your lower classes, you might have learnt about morphology. In class, you have learned about morphology. Morphology is a term. Can you remember? Can anyone remember the term morphology? Morphology means the study about the external features of any living organism. One of the things that we have learned is that we have learned about morphology. This year we are going to read about anatomy and physiology. Anatomy and physiology. What is meant by anatomy? Anatomy is Greek in origin. Ana means underlying. Ana means underlying. Tendon means to cut or dissect. If you are a cherry or a little bit of a cut, you can cut it. If you are a little bit of a cut, you can cut it. You can cut it. You can cut it. Anatomy. What is meant by physiology? Anatomy and physiology. This year we are going to read about anatomy and physiology. The physiology is meant by physiology. The physiology is meant by organs. எப்படி function பண்ணது? அப்படியும் படிக்கிறதுதா? physiology இந்த anatomy பத்தி first to first ஒரு author, ஒரு English physician வந்து ஒரு paper வந்து publish பண்டுராரு அவர் வந்து Nehemia group Nehemia group He is called as the father of anatomy In your lower classes you might have studied about the tissues and various kinds of tissues. If you see the plants, if you take the plants, plants are the dark, it shows various degrees of organization. Organization of the atoms are organized into molecules. Atoms to molecules. Molecules to organelles. Organelles to cells and cells to tissues. So, tissues forms the organs. If you have a problem with this, if you have a problem with this, you have an organization. Now, let's talk about the introduction. இப்போது நம்ம் tissues பத்தி பார்க்கப் போரும் இந்த tissues பத்தி tissues எட்டுக்டும் நாம் இது வந்து similar or dissimilar in origin and structure அது வந்து ஒரே தொடக்கும் இருக்கலாம் ஒரே structure இருக்கலாம் அனா it perform different function those are called as tissues tissues can be broadly classified into Tissues are the Renda Pirikyanga, Meristematic and second one is Permanent. The Meristematic Tissues are the Renda Pirikyanga, it is growing tips. Plants are the Renda Pirikyanga, growing tips, branches are the Renda Pirikyanga, leaf tips are the Renda Pirikyanga and the Meristematic Tissues are the growing tips. If you take the permanent tissue, grown up plants ले रिको, वड़न्द चडिकल ले, वड़न्द मरंगल ले रिको कुडिये था, in the permanent tissues. If you take the tissue system, a scientist called Schatz, in 1875, he broadly classified the tissues into, tissue system into three types. One is dermal or epidermal. The second one is ground tissue and the third one is vascular tissue. In tissue system, the first one is dermal or epidermal tissue. 
ending chana epidermis second one is cuticle third one stomata and epidermal outgrowths
ரோட் ஹேஸ் வந்து வாட்டரை வந்து அப்சார்ப் பண்ணுதுன்னு பார்த்தோம் பூமியிலேருந்து தண்ணியை உறிஞ்சு இந்த ரூட் ஹேஸ் வந்து கொடுக்குது இந்த உயிர்படுற தண்ணி வந்து எல்லா மார்ட்ஸுக்கும் அனுப்புறது இந்த சைலமோட வேலை அப்போ இந்த சைலம் வந்து என்னென்னலாம் மேலே கொடுக்குது அப்படின்னு சொன்னாக்க வாட்டர் அண்ட் மினரல்ஸ் வாட்டர் அண்ட் மினரல் சோர்ஸ் வாட்டர் அண்ட் மினரல்ஸ் இது ரெண்டையும் எல்லா பார்ட்டுக்கும் சப்ளை பண்ணும் ஃப்ளோயிங்கோட ஃபங்க்ஷன் என்ன அப்படின்னு சொல்லி பார்த்தோம்னா இது ஃபுட்டு அப்போ பஸ்குலர் டிஷ்யூ வந்து கன்ஸ்டியூட் கண்டெய்ன் சைலம் ஃப்ளோயர் வேரஸ் சைலம் கண்டெய்ன்ஸ் வாட்டர் அண்ட் மினரல்ஸ் ஒன்ட்ரிக் இருக்கிறதுனால this bundle is called as radial bundle if you take the conjoint bundle conjoint bundle la vande xylem and phloem same radius la irukum if this is a vascular bundle xylem vande ullarayum phloem vande velilaiya irukum xylem will be uh, present inside whereas phloem will be uh, present towards the periphery and the mark is there that is called as conjoint bundle idhiley rendu vagai irukku if kvm is present those bundles are called as kvm is responsible for secondary growth secondary thickening this kvm if it is present the bundle is said to be open and if it is absent this is called as
in the strand of xylem if protoxylem is present towards the periphery then it is called as exoxylem is if protoxylem is facing the epidermis then it is called as exa condition here the protoxylem will be facing the uh, epidermis whereas the metaxylem will be facing the pith if you take the endo condition here we can see the protoxylem towards the pith and metaxylem towards the periphery so this is the difference exact means protoxylem will be facing the epidermis whereas endoc means protoxylem will be towards the pith we have completed today's portion let us see the remaining portion tomorrow in another video thank you